guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Archituber. I'm Architect Vaibhavi and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. Let us start with the question bank. If you haven't watched the previous video of theory of design, please go give it a watch. And now let us start with the question bank of theory of design. Discussing about our first question, the principles of good designs are is it A, color, depth, form, line, shape, space, texture and value? Are these the uh, principles or are these elements? These are the elements. Talking about B, balance, contrast, emphasis, movement, proportion, repetition, simplicity, space and unity. These are your principles. Okay. So, B is the correct answer. Then, the element of design are color, depth, form, line, shape, space, texture and value, right? So, A is the correct answer. Then, third, A. Then, discussing about question number three. A type of balance in which both sides of compositions are balanced yet different. Okay? So, the composition is balanced but there are different patterns. Okay? So, it is a asymmetrical balance. Then discussing about our fourth question, formal balance is another word for, you have to guess this, okay? So let me know the answer. Another word for center of interest is focal point, okay? The choice of colors used in design plan is called color scheme, okay? A circular chart used to show color relationships is known as color wheel, okay? Then discussing about our eighth question, colors that are different in lightness and darkness are said to be contrasting, not light in value, not dark in value, neither bright or intense. It is contrasting, okay? Lightness and darkness, that means contrasting. Then coming on to our ninth question, which of the following can be used to create contrast in a composition? So let us discuss smooth and rough textures. Okay, large and small shapes. Okay, these all are contrast of each other. Plain areas against areas of patterns. So basically all are contrasting elements to each other. So all of the above is the answer. Dash is another word for brightness of color. Is it value? No. Is it intensity? Hue or a complementary? It is intensity. Okay, then discussing about dash is an element of art that refers to the sense of touch. Is it value? No. Pattern? No. Shape? No. But if you touch some material, you can tell this is rock or this is curtain, this is fabric or this is, you know, brick. So it depends on the texture of the particular material. So C is the correct answer. Negative space is the background or area surrounding an object in composition. Is it true or false? negative space in the background or area surrounding an object in composition. It is true. Then rhythm is created when various elements are repeated. It is also true. Then variation is the use of the same lines, shape, textures and color within an artwork. Is it right or wrong? Variation is the use of same lines, shapes, textures. No, variation does not mean the same. Okay, so it is false. Then discussing about 15th, unity is obtained when all parts of design are working together as which is true. Blue and orange are, we have discussed about color theory. So uh, you better tell these two answers in the comment section below. Okay, so 18th, visual dash is achieved when all parts of compositions have equal weight and appear to be stable. What is a visual focal point? No. Is it a visual unity in a composition? No. But visually appealing, that means the balance of the uh, composition. Okay. So, C is the correct answer. So, dash is the three-dimensional geometrical figure showing height, width and depth. Can a space show any three-dimensional space? No. Balance line? No. Then it is form. Form is a three-dimensional object. Okay. So, form. Various art elements, line, colors, shapes that are repeated over and over in planned way, it creates a pattern. Okay. The lightness or darkness of a color is referred to the value. Then, dash may be geometric or organic. 
shape right then dash is the suggestion of action or direction path of our eyes follow when we look at work of art is it proportion visual economy simplicity rhythm or movement the answer for 23 is movement okay then question number 24 Dash is the relation of two things in size, number, amount, or degree within a design, and it is what proportion is the relation of two things in size, number, amount, or degree within a design. Okay, so proportion. Then dash is the elimination of non-essential elements or details to reveal the essence of a form. Is it proportion, simplicity, rhythm, or movement? So it is. Visual economy or simplicity. Okay, so these are some of the basic questions of theory of designs. You can take the notes or uh, you can just take the screenshots of all the questions. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. You know the drill by now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel.